today they got a job for me where I'm doing like it says uh, confined space gear required so I'm going down into a tank there was this area where I didn't like go in there again I took off the harness and everything I had to put it right back on and go back in there again with a hammer and I had to chip at some loose concrete and get all the loose shit and then um, they gave me some quick quick patch concrete and I went in there and patched it this is why I'm hanging from a cable and I'm swinging around trying to hold still while I do my concrete work what's up guys good morning heading to work um, Hitting up my local coffee stand. I got a free one uh, at the local coffee stand, so I go claim that and head to work. Should be about five minutes early. Today they got a job for me where I'm doing like it says uh, confined space gear required. So I'm going down into a tank. Um, can't remember what kind of a tank it was. It's a confined space thing, and it said I gotta pick up concrete out of the bottom of the tank or something, and uh, you know, do like a concrete patch job on some broken part of the tank, I guess. Doesn't sound like the most fun. Hopefully, it ain't too bad. Uh, you'll be meeting, you know, a guy and my boss on site, so it's not like I'm alone. And uh, when you go into a tank uh, with, uh, you know, a confined space job uh, you require a second man on site someone's there in case you like pass out up in there like because the fumes or something happens uh, they can just they can uh, roll up the winch and it'll pull you up basically so yeah so that's what I'm doing today and I'm with two experienced guys so you know I'm the one going in Except for I'm heavy, you know, if they gotta roll me up, it ain't so easy for that winch to pull me up. <laughs> Cause I, I'm, I'm too heavy, man. I'm still 294, I need to work on it, guys. I'm getting motivated again. Uh, it's cold out, though, so it's gonna be hard to go out and run. Uh, I don't know, maybe I'll just get another gym membership. The, the one I had expired, so I, I need to get on that, I know. And uh, I hope to be making some more, more fitness videos coming soon up guys what's going on so I got a I got to the job um, I had to run and get some parts first and then I got to the job and uh, got a look at the um, this hole basically that I thought I was going in I'm not sure if I'm going in yet or not to be honest but yeah it's pretty deep it's about 20 feet down um, maybe about a maybe four feet or five feet in diameter so it's not that like you know it's kind of a tight space maybe maybe six feet I don't know but uh, not too bad I guess I don't know if I'll be going in though because it might require someone's expertise because um, I, I was getting plumbing fittings and stuff so there might be some kind of plumbing stuff I don't know we'll see if they want me to do it I'll do it no big deal but uh, I guess they're sending me back to the shop to get a jetter. Uh, basically, that, what that is, it's like a thing on a trailer full of water. And it's like got a motor. And it's kind of like a giant pressure washer, basically. With long hose and all that stuff. So they needed some water. Right now, they're cleaning this uh, thing out. This is our jetter. I'm going to be pulling this behind the truck here. Filling it up with water. Yeah. It's basically, it's gonna be full of water. It's like a big pressure washer. And I uh, got these long hoses for, uh, you know, cleaning stuff, clearing, clearing lines and stuff is what it mainly is used for. Like sewer lines, septic lines. Yeah. Kind of warmed up. So it's kind of a nice day now. Was really cold earlier. <sighs> Good thing we got that propane for the house. Got the the house nice and warm. That is nice. Probably go ahead and shut this off. One thing you always check when you're pulling a trailer is make sure your lights and your blinkers all that work. Yeah, 
Looks like the left one's working. Check the and we got the right one. Oh, and I'm out of here. There she is back there. It's actually not too bad pulling this one. It's pretty pretty narrow. It's not that wide. Five hours later. All right, guys. I'm done with my job. It was kind of a uh, kind of a bitch, but not too bad. I was I was actually hanging in there on the harness and um, freaking they lowered me down and yeah I was getting a nice little wedgie up my ass <laughs> and uh, yeah it's pressure washing a bunch of shit on the side of the walls of this tank you guys saw it I've got a little clip of it I didn't do any other videoing because uh, freaking guy there is co-worker not even my boss uh, just kind of went off and said don't be doing that fucking YouTube shit whatever he's talking all kinds of shit and I was just like dude I'm not filming you so I don't know what his problem was I even told him like you know he got he was cool the whole time after that and I was pissed and then I got over it and then it's like whatever you know and you know after getting the job done he brought it up again and it's like yeah that YouTube bullshit or whatever I'm like don't be calling it bullshit don't be disrespecting that you know it's it's like a business to me and he's like I don't want to fucking hear about it stop fucking talking about you know getting all mean right here I'm gonna get this fucking radio up anyway I told him don't be disrespecting me bro like I'm trying to be nice to you I'm trying to make friends or co-workers you know I'm trying to be professional here but shit pisses me off you know and he was like talking about how he's gonna go tell my boss i was like well go ahead and tell my boss then what the fuck are he gonna say you know all i all i know is like when i'm busy at this job i can't film for youtube and i need to stay I, nobody understands but like gotta put up at least two three videos a week or everything just gonna, gonna go to shit right so i gotta stay active on my channel if they're gonna keep me busy then I can't do my fitness videos, so then I do a little bit of work videos, and I get, like, just a clip here and there. I talk to, you know, he's kind of like my boss, I guess. Uh, not really, but I talk to this other guy, and, you know, he's all uh, telling me how, like, I can't be filming at work or whatever. And, uh, you know, I told him, hey, man, I just, you know, I film, like, little bits here and there. Like, it's really not nothing. It's nothing let me just do like a little bit here and there I'm not I'm not fucking wasting time I'm not fucking around I'm a kick ass motherfucker and you know getting rid of me would be a mistake you know chasing me off would be a mistake you know so just leave me be and people like this guy like he just needs to mind his own fucking business you know old, old fucking guy you know he's not with the times whatever I don't care <laughs> you know I'm not gonna let him affect me. And it sucks that I couldn't get a little bit more. I was gonna get a little bit more. I wasn't gonna get much more, but whatever, you know. But anyway, yeah, I hung in there with getting a fucking wedgie and I pressure washed the sides of the tank and, you know, got it all nice and clean, knocking shit off and it's just the sticky, gooey shit stuff mixed with all kinds of whatever. And yeah, kind of like grease or I don't know, greasy shit. <laughs> I knocked it all off anyway, and I cleaned it all nice up, nice, clean it all nice, and um, there was this area where I didn't, like, go in there again, I took off the harness and everything, and I had to put it right back on, and go back in there again with a hammer, and I had to chip at some loose concrete and get all the loose shit, and then um, they gave me some quick, quick patch concrete, and I went in there and patched it. This is why I'm hanging from a fucking cable. And I'm swinging around, trying to hold still while I do my concrete work. Yeah, it was, it was pretty nuts, you know, like, you know. Wasn't too bad. It's just, I don't know. And I had a nosebleed. Like, literally, I got a nosebleed on the way to the job. So that fucking sucked. <sighs> so I got there with, like, half my breathing. I got really bad allergies, guys. And it's just, like, I blow my nose like crazy. And that's why my nose bled. And... That ah, sucks, you know, had to go in a confined space. But yeah, like when you go in a confined space, you need a thing called a sniffer. Uh, you know, it sniffs to make sure the air is good. Um, at, at least in this, this is a, a freaking uh, lift station. That's what it's called. 
it's called a uh, lift station. It's like a sewer lift station, basically, where it lifts up the shit to the sewer, I guess. So anyway, that's what I was doing. Cleaning up the lift station and doing some concrete patchwork inside and yeah. But yeah, you gotta have you gotta have a harness and you have this like big metal structure thing on a cable with a freaking uh, like a winch and they can lo they lower me down and bring me back up and with the winch and yeah. So <sighs> yeah. So yeah, I mean it would have been better of a time if, you know, the guy wasn't such a dick to me. But whatever. Fuck it. You know, he didn't want to be my friend. He want to hate on YouTube. And, you know, it's his loss. Let him fucking hate on it. I don't care. Whatever the fuck ever, man. Uh, anyway, I'm heading back to the shop. Uh, they do have another riser job for me. But I'm going to take a lunch first because it's 2.30 in the afternoon. Uh, thank God I'm getting some hours, man. Thank freaking God for that. Gotta make that money, you know? Got bills to pay. What's up, guys? What's going on? It's lunchtime. I'm chilling. <sighs> so I talked to... Uh, I talked to my boss. Uh, kind of one of the higher-up bosses. This is the guy that took care of me when I got injured. Uh, anyway. Um, he's a real nice guy, so I thought I'd talk to him. I, and... And we talked about, you know, me filming at work. And he said, you know, it might pose a problem for me. And, you know, it's just like, no matter what, just can't do it. It's like, I can seal the company's, like, logo. I don't mention where I work, you know. But, you know, they're worried, like, you know, because I make these videos. And they think, like, I'm just slacking off. Like, you know, proof's in the pudding. Like, I get big jobs done. I get a lot done in a day, you know, probably more than most people, so, I don't know, like, I don't know where they can come to that conclusion that I'm just slacking off, but, whatever, um, to be honest, I just, like, I'm gonna try to phase out filming here at work, this might be, like, the last video, uh, maybe, you know, I'll talk about it here and there, but I'm not gonna be showing much B-roll anymore, of what I'm doing, which kind of sucks, you know, which is why I'm going to keep these kind of videos to a minimum since they're not going to be that awesome, yeah, and I'm going to try to do more, go back more into the fitness, and we'll do, like, you know, travel vlogs, maybe I'll try to travel, go on adventures more often, or hikes or something, I don't know, um, I'm going to, going to try to do that, I don't know, <clears throat> So, like, if I go on hikes, though, like, I'd want to, like, you know, bring someone with me, um, and it's hard to, like, get my girlfriend, you know, to come with me anywhere or even see her, because I haven't seen her in, like, a month and a half, it's crazy, um, you know, so it's like, I, I don't know who else I could get to go with me on a nice long hike somewhere, um, I don't really want to hike, like, all alone, like, in the woods, like, you know probably get jumped by a fucking cougar or something or a pack of wolves or grizzly bear or, <laughs> I don't know so I don't know man anyway yeah I want to do some different stuff uh, I want to make some cool videos I want to try to step up my my game on YouTube here and uh, see what kind of stuff I can put out for you guys um, keep you guys entertained now, these work vlogs were, you know, entertainment slash education. Thinking maybe, you know, you might learn something or learn about something you didn't know. Or I answered a question you had about something, you know. So, I saw a lot of value in it. But it seems like they're not going to let me do it. And, you know, that, that co-worker's going to start talking some smack to, you know, the boss. And then he's going to come talk to me and it just... It's going to get to the point where just nobody's going to let me do it. And I'm going to get in trouble every time I do it. So why bother, right? So, yeah. This is the last video probably where I film some something of what I'm doing at work. You know, I'm just going to talk about it here. That's it. That's all I'm going to do is talk about it, guys. Anyway. Um, 
I put some advertisement to the last video, uh, the one where I had the, the concrete lid that got stuck. Um, I don't know, I just picked one, and I was like, ah, let's put some ads to this, you know. And I went on Fiverr, and I found a guy, and he's, you know, putting it on Reddit and all these social media places or whatever, you know. But I'm um, starting to question the legitimacy. I only paid him 20 bucks, but I'm questioning the legitimacy because he got me, like, 600 views or whatever and um it's like all at once and it's like the views kind of just came to a, like a sudden stop you know and so i'm like what you know i'm wondering where those views came from i feel like they're you know from you know one of them websites where you know you click and you watch something and you're in credits and then you redeem for views and the, that's actually against youtube's policy so kind of would irk me if the guy used that because then you know that's you know a problem for my channel could be you know so I straight up told him when I ordered that I need legit views and um you know I don't want none of that that fake stuff no bot views or none of that bullshit you know and so I don't know man I'm questioning it I'm watching it like a hawk I gained 10 subscribers out of nowhere um and no one's commented and so I don't know if the views d just come to a sudden stop and they don't continue and then like no one comments and I'm getting these subs I'm really gonna think it's fishy you know what I'm saying and so if you're a new subscriber and you subscribe to what's today the October 1st or whatever it is today today is uh, Wednesday if you subscribe today let me know about it please um, I mean, this video has, granted, this video is probably going to go up either tonight or tomorrow or whatever, but yeah, if you subscribed on October 1st on Wednesday, uh, and you watched the video where the concrete lid was stuck, uh, let me know in the comment section, because I want to see if these, these subs are legit, if these views are legit, I don't know. Um, I guess if no one says anything and I don't get any comments and I just feel like it's fishy, I'm not going to order from this guy again. Um, and I just like, it's kind of like the same experience I've had over and over on Fiverr. It's just, you can't find anybody to do any legit social media marketing unless probably you pay them like $500 or something crazy. So I don't know. Anyway, I'm trying here, guys, trying to get this channel to take off so I can quit this job and do YouTube for a living, man. It's my dream. It's what I want to do, you know? anybody's got a problem with it then you can you know you know what they can do that's what i do anyway i'm gonna enjoy my lunch i made myself some turkey cheese pickle mustard sandwiches uh so i'm gonna mow down those real quick and i guess i'm gonna go install three risers today <sighs> that is the plan um Yep, I don't know if they'll have anything else after that, but I'm sure as hell getting hours today, and that's good, because I only had four and a half hours. So if I get 12 hours today, or plus, then, you know, that it's that plus four and a half, so that would put me like 16 and a half, or whatever, or close to 20, and that's a little more acceptable paycheck than four and a half hours, like seriously. You know, I just got a monster paycheck, and then, you know, if I got, like, a really small paycheck after, then it just kind of canceled it out, you know. But if I can get close to 20 hours today total for the pay period, then uh, I'll be I'll be just fine, and I'll stash a little bit, you know. I'll still have some stash, so. Hell yeah. There's my last job, so I'll install these risers and put an extension on that one. Some concrete. Uh, and we got the truck loaded up with concrete. <laughs> Out with the old lid and in with the new, the new risers. Okay, guys, I finished the riser job. It's uh, whew, it's 8 p.m. Heading back to the shop to go clock out, and then I got an hour drive home. And yeah, that's probably the last I film at work. So. It's all good we'll figure it out there it is guys I am out of here uh, clocked out it's 8 30 I got here at 7 so that makes 13 hours for the day plus the four and a half so 
paycheck's looking just a little bit better. It's still not great, but I mean, yeah, should be all right. At least it's something, right? What's up, guys? What's going on? So I, uh, I just got out of the shower, and I had some, uh, had some pizza for dinner, and uh, I'm tired, so I'm gonna crash. But I appreciate it, y'all. Hope you guys like this video. Smash the like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace out. Where did it begin?